Hi, I'm Rebecca, one of the Nutrition Advisors at Kentucky Equine Research and welcome to our presentation about feeding the off the track horse. So one of the best places to start, um, I thought to start this presentation would be to look at a real live example um, of feeding an off the track horse. So the photos you can see here are of my horse, uh, Alan, when, he, when I first got him off the track. He'd spent a little bit of time in the paddock before I got him. Um, and within eight weeks, uh, we had him looking like a completely different horse. Off the track horses do have um, quite a high risk of gastrointestinal problems, even things like ulcers. So keeping that in mind when we are trying to feed them and promote weight gain and good behaviour, um, keeping things cost effective and simple is, is really the key to what we want to achieve throughout this presentation today. So the horse's stomach is actually very small. So it's about the size of a football um, in terms of its volume. And its principal function is to act as a mixing bowl. Um, so food gets taken in and chewed by the horse and then ends up in the stomach where it undergoes chemical digestion, breaking down with the acid that's in the stomach. Um, and it should sit there for about 45 minutes or so before moving on to the small intestine. Now the small intestine is a long skinny tube. Um, it gets its name from the diameter, um, so it's, it's quite skinny, but um, it's very, very long. So it's about 22 meters in length in the average 500 kilo horse. So to put that in context, it's about the short side of a dressage arena. If we push the food through too quickly, um, and I've got a couple of buckets here to sort of demonstrate this. So we've got quite a small flexi tub, and this is a good size. Um, you certainly shouldn't be feeding your horse in anything bigger than this. But a lot of the time when we do nutrition consults, we're looking at feeds in tubs like this that are full. Um, and bearing in mind that um, size of the stomach, that sort of size of a football or a balloon about this big, if we actually put too much food through the stomach too quickly, it exits the stomach, goes into the small intestine and can't be absorbed. So you're essentially creating really expensive manure um, in your horse's paddock. The other problem that this does is it creates undigested material being put into the horse's hind gut. So this collectively large area um, and that is designed to pretty much digest fiber so things like grass and hay, chaff, um, and other digestible fibre sources like beet pulp. So it digests through a different um, mechanism called microbial digestion. And that means that there's a lot of live bugs, a lot of bacteria, um, protozoa, and uh, those sorts of things in there. There's billions of them that are responsible for this fermentation uh, of this fibre source. So hopefully um, we don't end up, so keeping your meal sizes really small and keeping in mind the size of the stomach, we don't push undigested food into the hindgut as that can um, change the pH, it causes the microbes to die off. And you can see things like um, diarrhea, colic, um, even laminitis, um, not so much in the, in the fresh off the track horse, but certainly down, down the track it can cause laminitis. So uh, we want to reserve this as an alkaline sort of environment so those microbes can thrive and um, horses can digest fibre from grass and hay very effectively. And this is one of the main areas of the horse's digestive system that needs to transition when they move from being a racehorse into a, uh, a more pleasure or performance type horse uh, because they're used to having a lot of grain in their diet, uh, for energy um, that they need to maintain body condition and performance as a racehorse. But when we transition them down to a performance horse, we look to add more fiber back in, which fits more naturally with the way the horse's digestive system works. But when we first get them off the track, this is not an efficient process. Um, the microbial population has to um, readapt to what we're asking them to uh, break down. When you first get your horse off the track, um, the sudden removal of those high energy sources like grains and fats um, can cause a dramatic weight loss, um, which is obviously not what we are trying to achieve. This can then you know, deteriorate into performance, uh, loss of performance and those other things if we're looking at a competition horse. So the, the best place to start when you first get your off the track horse is to learn to body condition score it. So one of the most important things that you can know how to do with your horse is body condition score. So whenever we want a horse to gain weight or lose weight, it's one of the most uh, effective ways that we can 
uh, monitor our horse's progress. So obviously we'd love to have a set of scales, but that's not practical for every horse owner. So understanding the body condition scoring system is really, really important. There's two systems um, that you will quite often hear about. We're gonna talk about the Australian system today, which is the one to five um, scale. Now this horse here um, has been off the track for quite a long um, period, few years. Uh, and he's in very good body condition. So he would be a, on sort of a four, at least on the one to five scale. So we aim for horses around the three. So as a comparison, um, this horse is a little lighter in body condition, but is a body condition score of three. So this is what a horse that's quite fit um, and lean would look like. So we look at her neck um, and you can see it's a little bit straighter than the previous horse. We look over her ribs and we can definitely feel them a lot easier. Um, there's less fat covering that area, but we still can look around towards her bum um, and towards her hindquarters and see that she's still well covered. So it's just uh, one of those things that you need to get to used to with your own horse, um, as all horses you know, put weight on slightly differently um, and best way to monitor them so as they lose weight or gain weight throughout the season not just as you're trying to get weight on after racing.